Yo, what up, everybody? I go by the name Five Shinobi, aka Five Mics, and you're welcome to the first episode, the first, first ever episode of my top five at five. This top five, I'm not saying is is general. This is my personal top five. How the um, one of my favorite things, one of my favorite songs, one of my favorite everything. Top five that I think you know what I know most of you would agree with. This is gonna be awesome. This is my first one, so I'm hoping you're gonna like this. Sit back. Relax, listen, check it out. So for today, I'm gonna do my top five of, you know what? You can guess what my first top five is going to be. It's going to be hip hop. My first top five is gonna be hip hop. I'm a rapper, an MC. I like to, I like, to, I rap for the heads. I rap for the hip hop, hip hop community. You know, I love hip hop to death. It's, I mean, hip hop is what has designed me and what has kept me going is what I grew up with you know so um, it's only right that I pay homage and I start my top five at five with my top five hip-hop artists of all time <laughs> hip-hop artists of all time and now I'm saying you know what I'm gonna have episodes where I'm talking about my top five Nigerian rappers my top five African rappers my top five all-time uh, international rappers but this now I'm talking about my personal all-time rappers of all time that have influenced me one way or the other, and um, so in no particular order, in no no restrictions to zone, time zones, to geo geo locations, to to regions, is worldwide all-time hip hop rappers MCs of all time for me. So I'm gonna start off with. No, in no particular order, no particular order. Uh, or should I do order? Yes, I think I should do order because it's only right. Top five. You want to know who's number one? So I'm gonna start with top five. Number five. I'm gonna start with my man, the legendary Modo Chang, Mode Nine. <laughs> uh, Mode Nine is see when I was coming up as a rapper, when I was always rapping. I always listen to Mode 9. I always check out MCs. And uh, it's more like when you go to school, if you're a professor, if you are um, a teacher, if you are a businessman, you're going into business, you want to check out the competition. You want to know who, who's hot, who's doing uh, what you want to do and how you're going to outdo them or how you're going to take inspiration from them. So I'm going to say I start with Mode 9. You know, um, when I... Check it out my top five list and I heard mode nine. I'm like You know what he has to be if things are right if the system is right if things are right He has to be up there with these cats. He has to be rubbing shoulders with these cats, you know So I'm gonna go with mode nine. He influenced me coming up so much his his I looked at him. I'm like, you know what? If I can rap like him or even better, you know, which is like one of the most hardest things in the whole country to do. I don't think anybody came close, you know. So if you can do that, if you can even get to 80%, then you know you're good. You know you are, you are, you are, you are up there. So I'm going to give it to number five all time hip hop MC of all time. I'm going to give it to number five. I'm going to give it to Mode 9. Shout out Modo. And, um, number four, ha, who else? <laughs> who else but Jack the Ripper? <laughs> Can I bust? See, the first day, shout out to G DJ, DJ Shehu, Shehu our bass, what's up? Shout out to our bass, man. The first time I heard cannabis was at Shehu's crib. <laughs> My man Shehu, damn. I was like, who the hell is this? This, I think the first song I heard was um, Beast from the East with Ken Bush, Red Man, A Plus, Lost Boys. Oh my god, and he came last. So when he stopped, I'm like, Who the hell is this? They told me it was Ken Bush. So he showed, started playing me a whole lot of Ken Bush, and I was like, There's no way this guy is human. Like, this has to be the bar now. This has to be the bar for any MC anywhere in the world. Um, yes, uh, much respect to Ken Abbas, um, one of the greatest to ever do it. I know 100 bars, let's say 
Word for word, <laughs> my lyrical lynch mob shitting on niggas growing with the hideous forms that comes with the mink on. Ducking down low, fighting the car, fighting the Vietnam, screaming incoming. When I see a bomb, I can go on and on. So shout out to Ken Boss, love you. Number four. <laughs> the man with the biggest flow, the notorious flow, the most swagalicious MC I've ever heard on the mic. Biggie Smalls, notorious B.I.G., Jesus Christ. You see all these flows. MCs are doing today. Biggie was so ahead of everybody. You know, Biggie was the flow master and he had the bars, like the sickest bar. The whole Ready to Die album, I'm like, okay, you know what? This has to be the art. And, and I know a lot of people agree with me that he is one of the greatest of all time to ever do it. You know, big shout out to Biggie Smalls, rest in peace, and the whole bad boy fam. Peace. <laughs> So number two, ha 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 ha, oh man, y'all not gonna believe this. Number two and number one is, number two and number one is a touchy, is, is quite touchy for me, it's like sentimental for me. So I don't know if I should ever do two, one and two, or I should just put both of them one and two, or I should just put the both of them on one. <laughs> but let's say for me, go to, like my go-to list if I if I'm I'm gonna put number two, Jay Z. <laughs> Jay Z is the ultimate. Oh my God, Jay Z is the ultimate rapper. He's the most complete rapper of all time. He's the most okay, maybe not the most complete rapper because there's a there's the most complete rapper of all time, but he's not in my top five. He could be on my top ten, but he. It, you know, Drake is like one of the most complete rappers of all time, but he's, he's not on my top five. So, but I'll say Jay-Z at number two is the boss MC, the, the, the most lyrical, the freestyle MC, the king of all, you can name it. He's, he's, to most people, he should be his number one. You know, but like I said, it's sentimental to me. So Jay-Z is number two. Uh, much props to Jay-Z. Uh, Hard Knock Life, Blueprint, Black Album, all the albums he ever dropped. I still play um, 444 till today. You know, I still play the um, story of OJ. Oh my God. You know the funny thing? I wasn't really into Jay-Z at some point. There's this cat growing up. His name is um, Babs. I don't know. Wherever he is, if he's watching this, I know he'll be laughing at me now. I wasn't... See, before I met Babs, Jay-Z wasn't even probably on my, you know, maybe because I wasn't a fan then, I wasn't paying attention. He wasn't even on my top 10, you know. Uh, I wasn't a fan then, but there's this guy, Babs. You know, people always introduce you to music. Either you find the music or somebody introduces you to the music. I listened to uh, Babs. Babs kept telling me, man, you don't know about Jay-Z. Because I was a Nas, a dot. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so I was, I, was a, I was a fan of one other rapper from Queens. <laughs> And he was kept telling me, this Brooklyn rapper, this guy is the fearless rapper of all time, man. You don't know what you're missing, blah, 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 blah. We even had, we almost fought. Because every time he sees me, he's like one of the biggest disciples of Jay-Z. Anytime he sees me, he's preaching Jay-Z, Jay-Z, Jay-Z. I'm like, what the hell? So I was like, you know what, let me go find this album. Um, let me go find his albums and listen to it. So I used to have a friend who worked in the radio station and... He snuck out <laughs> from the libraries. He snuck out uh, one of the albums for me. Um, reason the reasonable doubt. I swear to God, I won't call it the radio station, but it was one of the radio stations that was in a hill. <laughs> I know you guys can remember the radio station back in Abuja. It was on the top of the hill. One of the guys snuck, snuck out the album for me, reasonable doubt album, and I listened to the album. I was like, okay, okay, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. Dead Presidents became my favorite. So I was like, okay, you know what? Ever since, ever since, I've been a staunch. I'm, I'm ashamed to say this, Babs. I'm sorry we had so many fights. <laughs> but yes, you were right. You know, I, I accept. But yeah. So, Jay-Z, number two for me. <laughs> and number one, even though Babs tried so hard to convince me, even though Babs tried so hard to, 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 Made me a, a Jay Z disciple. There's only gonna be a number one for me. 
and I was happy, I was glad I met this guy one time. I was like, till today is one of my favorite moments of all time. Nasir Jones for number one for me. Till today, I still play Illmatic album from start to finish. Start, no skipping. Anytime I hit the first track, it's always no skipping to the end of the album. Nasir Jones for me. Oh my God. Big respect. King Disease. He's killing King Disease. And he influenced seeing, seeing Nas come back transition with Hit Boy. And dropping his fire mixtapes and fire albums he's been dropping is like one of the best things that happened to me this period during hip-hop when everybody's just you know doing what they're doing <laughs> you can't knock everybody's hustle but what everybody's been doing what they're doing so it was one of my favorite things to happen to me to me in hip-hop nasia jones i was privileged to just meet this guy this god mc and um I, he probably never remember me in his whole life, <laughs> but then I it was a moment for me. You meet somebody like that, you you never forget that person. You meet your idols. They say never meet your idols. I met mine, and it was an amazing feeling till today that I hold like one of that. That's is, my, is the Grammys for me. That's my own Grammys, you know. So my number one for my top five all time MCs is gonna go to Nasir Jones, the God MC, the God Son. So there you have it, Five Shinobi, aka Five Mics, my top five of five. I hope you like it, and I'm gonna be bringing you more and honorable mentions all time. Honorable mentions if I'm gonna if I'm gonna throw in a few names there, but in no particular order, I'm gonna put in I'm gonna put in Red Man. You know what? I'm gonna put in Red Man and Method Man. I'm gonna put in oh the man with the raspy Jada Kiss. I'm gonna put in Jada Kiss. Rocky Malah is gonna be there. I'm, I'm talking about people who influenced me. Rocky Malah is going to be there. Oh my God. DMX is definitely should be number... See, DMX was supposed to tie with Mode 9 on my top 5. But, you know, then again, I'm saying people who influenced me. DMX. And last but not least, one, one other rapper that influenced me from the, un, the most underground the most underground i'm talking about people i listen to every day to get inspiration from from to write i'm talking about master ace <laughs> yes master ace uh um uh, i love master ace and um uh, you know i can go on and on but you know my top five of five mode nine number five cannabis number four biggie notorious big number three Jigga my nigga number seven number two and Nasia the godson Jones Nas number one. I hope you like. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.